Hello, welcome to the first Sonic Frontiers modding tutorial. In this tutorial we will be going over the very basics of creating mods, and we will create a mod that changes the text on the game over screen. Ready? Let's go! The first thing that we should do is to install a tool called Hedgemod Manager. The link will be in the description of the video. First, go to the page in your browser. Then go to the first download and click hedgemodmanager.exe. This will download it. Something that I recommend is making a shortcut for Hedgemod Manager. You can put this on your desktop. Now we can open Hedgemod Manager. Now, we will create a mod using the Add Mod button. Enter the details for your mod. I'm just using the simple name, Mod Tutorial 1. Click OK and a new window will open. This is your mod folder. You should then go to the Sonic Frontiers page on Steam. Press the Options button, go to Manage, then click Browse Local Files. This will open another window, and then you need to go into the folder called Image, then X64. Before we proceed, we should learn how mods work. In the Sonic Frontiers folder, most of the assets that make up the game are stored in the raw folder. In this folder there are more folders that contain files used for different parts of the game. For example, let's say that the game wants to load the Sonic 3D model. It will navigate to the folder that Sonic's model is in, then it loads that model into the game. The process is a lot more complicated, but understanding this simplified version is enough for this tutorial. However, what if we are tired of seeing the standard Sonic model? What if we want to change it to something more interesting, say, Charmy B? That's what mods are for. The file we want to replace, can be replaced with a file in the mod folder that has the same name and location. But how do we get our new model from the mod into the game files? That's where Hedgemod Manager comes in. Hedgemod Manager replaces the game files with your mods file easily when the game starts. Now, when the game loads in Sonic's model, it loads in the new model instead. Got all that? Don't worry if you haven't, it's tricky to understand. If you do understand, then great job. Now, we can continue with our mod. We are going to replace the text on the game over screen with some new text. To do this, we need to find the file that the text is stored in and copy it into our mod folder. First open the raw folder in the Sonic Frontiers window and then open the text folder. You should see a file called text underscore common underscore en. This is a pack file, which is basically Sonic Frontiers' version of a zip file, which is just a compressed folder. Go into the raw folder in your mod folder, then create a folder called text. Copy and paste text common en into this folder. Be careful not to drag it in, as that will move the original folder and you don't want to do that. Then we should extract text common en by dragging it onto hedge art pack, which is a tool linked in the description. This is pretty much your most useful tool for Sonic Frontiers modding. There should be a folder with the same name as the file that you just extracted. Open that folder and you will see all of the text files for the game, including the one that I am going to edit for this tutorial, UI underscore HUD. Although it is in a format that can't be opened with traditional text editing programs. To fix this, we need to drag the file onto Poyo Text Editor, which is another useful tool that is linked into the description. This converts it into an XML file, which can be opened by almost any text editor. This includes Notepad, but I'll be using Visual Studio Code. Note that there is no difference between the instructions depending on what program you are using. Now that it is open, you can see all of the text that is used for the UI in the game. In this tutorial, I am going to change the game over screen to say, oh no, so I find the text that says try again and change it to say, oh no. Finally I save the file, close Visual Studio Code or whatever program you are using, and drag the XML file onto Poyo Text Editor to convert it back to the original file type.
exit the text common EN folder and then drag in onto Hedge Art Pack. A window will pop up, and all you have to do is type in, Frontiers, then press Enter. Congratulations! Your mod will now work, after we check the box on it in Hedge Mod Manager. Now if we hop into Sonic Frontiers, we can see it in action. OK. Let's see if our mod works. There we go. I hope yours work too. If not, make sure you did all of the steps correctly until it works for you. OK. We're at the end of the video now, so I'm going to set you a challenge. Using what you've learned today, try and change the text on the boost gauge to say something different. It can be anything you want. See you soon for the next tutorial once I get round to it.